you had mentioned tricks that anybody can do right away. Uh, so let's talk about this one. Uh, have you heard the line, pick a card before? Yep. That's what we're going to do, a real basic pick a card trick, okay? So uh, before we start, uh, we'll give the cards a couple shuffles, a couple cuts, and watch this. Uh, I'll, since you're not here, obviously you can't pick a card, but I'll, I'll run my finger like this. You just say stop whenever you want. Stop. Right here? Uh, are you okay with this one, or you want one more, one less? It's up to you. Let's keep the one. Okay. Uh, so the Seven of Diamonds, that's your card. Now, in a live performance, obviously, I wouldn't know what that card is. Uh, but the Seven of Diamonds, that's the card. So the spectator would pick that card. And then we'll cut it back into the deck. And again, if you were here, you could give the cards a cut. But you're not here. So you can tell me where do you want to cut. You know, the top, middle, or bottom? You're like a uh, top. So closer to the top. See how that's only a small Closer to chunk. the top. Yeah, like a smaller yeah, right. chunk. To yeah, that's, yeah, it's just, just to show you that I, I'm giving you the control that since you're not here, you can cut where you totally. want. Totally. As a matter of fact, you might not trust me. So you want to cut these cards again? Let's do one more and around the half. That's just a blatant proof that you don't trust me one bit. <laughs> now, where, where would you like me to cut? Closer to the top, middle, or bottom? Let's do around the half. Right around half. So you can see that's exactly uh, halfway down. And it was. We'll yeah. do the math later. I'll, remind me to do that before we leave. Uh, we'll okay. do some uh, for you guys. Almost for you. Now, again, if we were in a big group of people, we would just have multiple people uh, do that. I would say, in case you don't trust me, you might not trust this guy. So why don't you cut the cards? And what ends up happening is we just give these cards a cut because I demonstrated tracking a moment ago. So you might think that I could keep track of those cards. But when we cut the cards like this, there's no way anybody could keep track of these cards when they're cut this many times. And you may think that I'm faking these cuts in some way. Look, top card changes. We know it's real. As a matter of fact, I'll give the cards a cut when they're face up. How many times? Do you want me to cut the cards again or just finish here? I mean, I think none of this really matters. But no, it yeah. really does. It really does because every time we cut, there's a new card. So it's up to you now. Do you want me to cut again? I'm satisfied with the amount of cuts. You okay. Cut. Remember, if you wanted me to cut again, it would have been a completely different card. If totally. I cut in a whole different place, it would have been a 10 or it could have been a queen. It could have been an ace. But you said stop here. Okay? Yeah. Now, how, we cut the cards 15 times, 20 times, 30 times even. And we ended up at a three. All right? Now, do you remember your card? Seven of diamonds? Yeah, watch this. So that's one. That's two. That's three. <laughs> and Dude. this is the easy stuff. <laughs> This is, this is the easy stuff. There's just nothing to it. All right. So let's talk about how to do this trick. At the very beginning, we had a real simple setup at the face of the deck. And this is it. And believe it or not, I, while we were talking... What the fuck? I when did you do that? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. It took a second to do it, right? So here we go. Ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is the setup, and that goes at the face of the deck. So this is the face of the deck. This is the top of the deck, okay? Now, yeah. when I shuffle the cards, here's a real basic control that you uh, would learn on a first lesson. It looks like I'm shuffling these cards, and I really am. But guess what? The ace through ten isn't going anywhere, right? It's not magic. All I'm doing is dropping those cards first when I shuffle. But from the top, it's very difficult to see that. It just looks like yeah. the card... Uh, so you, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's how you're fooled. You know that the trick we're starting off with a truly shuffled deck of cards, but that is not the case at all. You can see that 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Ace is at the top. So now wow. here's how the trick works. I spread the cards out on the table like this, and I say, in a moment, I'm going to have you say stop. Now, you may not suspect that you were manipulated there, but you already were. Yeah, because, because you didn't allow me to do the beginning. <laughs> Because I didn't say, say stop whenever you want and come down here. Because what if you said stop here? Yeah. You're so fine. do you see how subtle these manipulations are? And I'm controlling yeah. every aspect. So when you say, well, what if you screw up? I'm not going to screw up because I've thought about this already and make sure that I say, now listen to the timing. Listen to how brilliant it is. So I'll go like this. And when you want, just say stop. You know, you, it's gone. <laughs> so you don't have to That's right. I'm not going to interrupt you. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. So these are all just psychological methods. Uh, so also a great analogy for what I do mentally is very similar to con artists and things like that. Um, yeah. Scam artists, because they will convince you to give away all your money. And I'm doing a lot of the same things, but I'm not going to. Well, I'm going to take some of your money, but not all of it. But right. <laughs> I'm using that same 
mentality to fool you with basic card tricks. So anyway, that's a free selection. And the trick is so simple. It's so, so simple. This card here goes on top of the deck. And if you were here, you really would cut the cards. And this is a trick you would do like at a pool table with a bunch of friends, right? You got 15 people out at a dinner table and you would say, go right down the dinner table and say, all right, Mary, you cut the cards. All right. Okay. Frank, you cut the cards. Bill, you cut the cards. And this is all real. And you're fooled by this because these are real genuine cuts and there is no manipulation here. You can even Wait, show Jason, the Wait, Jason, isn't the one through 10 getting fucked up when you do that? No, no, no. You'll see in a second. When I cut the cards, ace through 10 is still in sequence. It's just in a different place. So ace through 10 is now up here, then it's down here, then it's over here, then it's up here, but it'll never change. So let me cut right into the middle of it. Even though I've cut into the middle of it, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, ace. You see how it's, it's getting split, but it's not getting messed up. It's not getting shuffled. Oh, yeah. Hello. The cards are cut, and then now watch this manipulation. I say, look, you can clearly see the cards are being cut. There's a four on top of the deck, and when I cut, now it's uh, a nine. So clearly it's, you know, as a matter of fact, why don't we do it with the cards face up? So this feels like I'm helping you by understanding <laughs> I'll do it with the cards face up. But actually, anyone, when, when I'm trying to help you, it's actually hurting you. So Because now, now I can see the cards. So <laughs> this is apparently prove that the cuts are real. And now what's going to happen when multiple people cut, what's eventually going to happen? You're going to get a heart. You're going to get a heart. And this is when you stop. Now, do you remember when I said, do you want to keep going? And I, I said, so, we yeah. can stop here. Or we can stop. Haze now. <laughs> it doesn't matter because if you wanted to keep going, I just would have cut until I hit a heart again. So you've never seen the trick before, so you don't know how it goes. So yeah. when I say... You uh, stopped me at the six, but you could have stopped me someplace else. And I'll lift up and prove a different value. If you had said a different, uh, if you wanted me to cut, we would have got a queen. And perhaps we would have got a different queen or an eight or a three. All these different numbers. But this is where you wanted to stop. So doesn't that feel like that's your choice? Yeah, 100%. It does. We take that six out like this. And I say, watch this. Now the cut never screwed anything up. So guess what happens when I count down six cards? One, two, three. Three, four, five, and our original card, seven of spades, it will always be at the sixth position. So it will be that way. If you cut to the five of hearts, it'll be at the fifth position. If you cut to the ace, it'll be the top card. If you cut to the 10, it'll be the 10th card. It, it's just a basic math trick. So uh, that's an example of what we call self-working card tricks. Now, the little shuffle that I added in the beginning where I retain the cards at the bottom, Yeah, that's me adding a little sleight of hands, but it's simple sleight of hand. 